So I said we'd come back for this episode with the Chelsea and Everton games to kick off our season, our first back in the Premier League. Unfortunately, the audio messed up on the video as I recorded it, meaning it's kind of useless now, which is a bit of a shame. So instead, we're going to be com coming back with the next two Premier League games against Leeds United and Southampton, which is just as well considering the start to the season that we've had. I'm going to roll the intro and then we'll go over why. Hello and welcome to episode 22 of Unemployed to Legend with Wigan Athletic. My name is Craig and coming up on today's episode, as mentioned, we have the games against Leeds United and Southampton in the Premier League. Now, since you were last with me, because the last recording messed up, it's not been the greatest start to the season, to be honest with us. Smacked about by Chelsea 4-0 on the opening day of the season. 3-0 uh, loss as well against Everton in our second game. Obviously, I'm sure you can imagine, that leaves us bottom of the league. Minus 7 goal difference, not great, but two games in. I'm still hopeful to an extent that we can be competitive in this division. Thankfully, we did win our last game, though, in the Carabao Cup. We beat Premier League rivals Norwich City, and they played most of their Premier League team as well. So I'm quite hopeful that we can compete at least against the bottom-sided teams. One of which we're facing today is Leeds United, who have lost the first two games of their season as well. So here's hoping, as you can see, they're 17th. This is basically a case of someone's getting their first points today, or both of us are. Because to be honest, I would happily take a draw. I really, really would. Just to give us a little bit of a morale booster going into the rest of the season. I say that it's only two games in at the moment. But this is the tactic we're now using. We've um, moved away from the 4-3-3 into the 4-2-3-1 already. It's only August. And this is the tactic we used against Norwich. And we actually created chances. We created nothing. Absolutely nothing we created. So this is the team we're going to be sending out against Leeds United. Backman in goal. Armini on the left-hand side of defence with Canedo and Mengi in central defence. Johnson on the right-hand side. Davenport and Williams at the base of the midfield with Le Chabla in the attacking midfield role. In fact, can he play as a shadow striker? In fact, you know what, we'll stick with attacking midfield. If it doesn't work, we'll try the shadow striker. Because I heard shadow strikers are quite good in FM21. Lang on the left wing. El Helali on the right wing. He can actually play there. Certainly... As an inverted winger, he's certainly got the pace for it. I mean, look at that. Pace 16, acceleration 18. 18 year old Spaniard, right back slash attacking, well, winger, effectively. Who knows? We might have picked up a little gem this season. I mean, he's had one game for us in the league so far. In fact, no. Yeah, one league game as a sub, and he did fairly well. So, you know what? Let's give him his chance. Canedo is uh, making his Premier League debut as well. He debuted against Norwich City. Shobolev as the big man up front, playing him as a pressing forward now. Advanced forward just wasn't working. He's had zero chances thus far. In case you're wondering, Ricky J. Jones did get injured just before the start of the season. He should be back for the next game against Southampton. The same for Jordan Archer, who's picked up another injury, unknown at this point. Don't worry, it's not another abdominal injury. So hopefully it's not too serious. Right then. Leeds United away. Oh, Michael O'Neill is their manager now. Was Marcelo Belzer still in charge when they were in the championship? We faced them. But underdogs in our suits us down to the ground. Let's go cause an upset. Okay, as long as some of them are motivated, I'm happy. But basically the main story of the Premier League so far this season, we've not created a single chance. And it's really, really sad to see. God, Leeds United just all over us in the early exchanges. And yeah, here we go. They're just all over us at this point. At the moment, we're just, we're just getting the blocks in, but nothing else. We're really just struggling to even get anything going. When Armini's throws are just not that good. He's not quite Reese James, is he? And so, Leeds United, my goodness, they got a 3 on 2 here, they got a 4 on 2, let's be honest. Oh my gosh. We 
we just got ripped apart there, didn't we? Look at that. They had five at one point. And four. They had a four or five on two. I'm going to have to keep some extra players back at set pieces by the looks of it. That's just horrendous. The thing is, in the summer, I had a sort of personnel. Was it personnel? A transfer policy where. Effectively, we brought in championship players, but with Premier League potential, and unfortunately, they're just getting absolutely shredded. So I need to actually do something. It's 20 minutes into the game, and we're just getting absolutely dominated. I mean, our attackers are actually way too far forward, so there's a massive gap. You see that? There's a massive gap between the midfield and the defence already. Shobolev has just been absolutely nowhere. He's not had any service whatsoever. And I've tried a higher line before, that just caused us so many issues. Right, let's try that. And is there any point counter pressing? Because it's clearly not working. And we're going to go for more passing directness. We kind of have to. Let's up the, let's up the tempo a little bit. Changes are obviously not going to go in yet for this free kick, so I'm hoping we can just survive this. Oh, for goodness sake. This That's the second penalty of the season. What are you doing at the back? That's the second penalty this season that you've done that. Referee, just allow, this is going to be a penalty, isn't it? I can just sense it already. Whenever the referee goes over to a little... Oh, it's not a penalty. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Well, that was close. And now the referee running back, I was going to say, oh, okay, he, uh, he did book him, right, he did book Davenport, for goodness sake. I mean, Davenport was actually the hero against Norwich, he was the one who bagged the winner. Oh, for f Oh, flip sake, I was about to say, for flip sake, I thought that was actually... I thought we'd given away a penalty there. It's ridiculous how many were given away. Shobolev, first time I've seen him on the ball this entire season, apart from Norwich. El Hilali. Ooh, we came close. That's the first Premier League shot we've had this season. And it came from a makeshift right winger who started the season effectively as a right back. I mean, you can't make it up, can you? Leads again on the attack as it's just relentless. I honestly don't know how to stop this. Yeah. I don't know how to actually stop this. This side was way, way better against Leeds last time out in the championship. We drew nil-nil with them away last season, but clearly Leeds have strengthened. I mean, come on, they've got long staff in. What are these two doing here exactly? They're just marking each other at this point. Overwhelmed, so of course you guys are. Uh, Armini, he's not exactly the long throw expert, is he? Unfortunately, that's more Reese James. My goodness, they... it's again like watching my side run through treacle. They don't know what to do. Yeah, they just don't know what to do. That's the problem now. They try and bring the ball forward, and their pass is just all over the place. The sad part is, the more losses we take, the more it's just going to hit the morale. Right, Shobolov, can you get something going? No, you can't. My goodness, you just lose the ball all the time. Please, Ricky J. Jones, come back. Ah, uh, it's 3-0, game done. Ricky J. Jones, we need him back. Even then, I don't know what he's going to be able to do. This is an absolute pasting. I don't really know what else we can do. We win, We take the ball off them, and then they're just there immediately behind one another this is clearly not working, now it's the 4-3-3 there is another formation I have um, no it's not that one no it's not that one, there it is 4-4-2 four, four, on the counter attack we might have to go to this We're not even familiar with it, but we may as well just try it and see. Samid Honor, is he even fast enough? Uh, 
is kind of fast. Okay, now Hanali found the left. No, he can't. <laughs> no, he can't. Let's put him back to right back. We're going to put Lang over on the right hand side. In fact, he can't even play there. In fact, he, we don't even have the personnel to do that. It's effectively just going to be a 4 2 4, which would just completely expose the back line. Well, Josh Bowler can actually play there. Johnson's just not had a very good game. But Lang, you may as well just play as a winger. Screw it, we have to do something different. Let's just go to balanced. We have to do something, to be honest with you. Come on. Let's fire up the whole team. I want to see something in this second half. The most disappointing part is Shobolev hasn't had any chances. I just don't know if he's struggling to settle in the northwest or something. Maybe he's just not familiar with the food we have up there. I mean, I've been here for two seasons. I still don't know the food they have either. Oh, Canedo nearly... Got his first goal. El Halali's not having a good game either. Uh, the, the whole team really and truly is just not having a good game. Look at the morale. It's just tanked through the floor. This is going to be our third smacking of the season. Oh, for goodness sake. I don't know how that chip didn't go in. <laughs> I don't know how that didn't go in. Right, this goal is just going to have to come on. He's going to come on at right back. And for my final change, we'll just have Hammer come on in midfield. I mean, nothing really happened in that second half, but to be honest, clearly it was a lot tighter. I say that, but our XG was still pathetically low. Oh my goodness. We've got a long, long season ahead of us. This is not good news. Yikes. We got Southampton next, and they're in seventh. <gasps> they're yet to play as well. They could be higher. Let's go see how we do against them. Second game now against Southampton, and I honestly don't know what to expect from this. Uh, just so you know, there's a lot of light coming into my room from the right hand side, so that's probably why you'll see one side of my face nicely shaded, <laughs> and the other side nice and bright. Hopefully, you'll still be able to see me properly anyway but that at the moment is the least of my concern considering I just want us to pick up some points even one point at the moment I really just want us to pick up uh, pick that up right now even if it's at home to Southampton um, the only changes really to be made here Reese Williams is in for Canedo who drops to the bench Scoen is taken over from, I was about to say Davenport, no, Davenport's moved over to that deep, deep line playmaker role. Scoen's come in for Joe Williams. And Jones is back in the squad for the first time this season. If he makes a difference, then we're going to need him to perform. We really, really do. First, But first appearance of the season for Jones, he's on the left wing with Shobolev up front. If Shobolev doesn't perform again, I'll just drop him and put Jones up front. We've got Bowler and Lang on the bench. Other than that, it's as you do. I've been trying to have a look at Southampton's uh, report before the game. I didn't actually get it in the inbox, so I have to go through the, what is it called, team report to go and get it. But whatever. It's, it's all there now. And trying to see how we could possibly counter them because we've been absolutely dreadful to start this season. Minus that one game against Norwich. I mean, I don't know what else to do. At this point, I just think we just don't have the players. If that is the case, that's going to be a very long, hard season of which I probably won't finish it. My goodness, they just cut through us again there. But yeah, of which I probably wouldn't finish it because I would probably be sacked long before we get to the end of the season. I know the board said they want us to battle bravely against relegation but I don't think that includes going the whole season with zero points that's certainly not what we want to do Johnson with his first long throw of the season and we hit the bar oh sorry the post oh my god that's the closest we've come to scoring more of the same Johnson 
Oh, oh, we had the bomb again. Oh, we've, that's the most dangerous we've looked, and it's only 11 minutes into this game. Oh, we're going to have to do set pieces all season. I think that's the way we're going to have to score. Oh, my goodness, I thought that went in. It's set piece o'clock at the DW Stadium right now. Come on, boys. Come on. We, we can score. Just realised they're playing a 4 4 2. Maybe that's what we need to do. Problem is, we don't have any wide midfielders per se. The Shabala, Davenport, it's El Hilali, pray it through. Shobolev. Didn't really have anyone in support. El Hilali is now in support, and so is Johnson, I believe, on that side. Davenport, Le Shabala, El Hilali. I'm just naming players at this point. Come on, who's got that penetration with pass? And El Hilali does! And El Hilali has scored! I've just smacked my knee! Ow. I just smoked my knee on the desk. It's that happy. Oh, the relief. The utter relief. El Hilali with his first goal for the club and of the season. Ow, oh, I just smacked my knee. Ow, ow. Oh, ow. Okay, that's not coming out of the recording. Oh my god, just get that away. My goodness. Scoring is knackered already. Never mind, he's not exactly played a lot of games. Let's see if we can get him through to half time. I hope. And Southampton, thankfully, head over the bar. Come on. Let's get to half time, fellas. Does anyone else feel the relief just like I do? <laughs> that is insane. Our first league, it's our first Premier League goal of the series. Yeah, keep it up. Stay inspired. Right, Scoring is tired, however. He's going to have to come off for. You know what, McEachran. McEachran can drop into that deep line playmaker role. Davenport can go back to ball winning midfielder. I'm just thinking, now, can Joe Williams play there? He can play as a ball winning midfielder. Maybe. Yeah, we'll, we'll do Joe Williams. McEachran's more of your deep line playmaker role, and Davenport's having a decent game in that. Yeah, we'll roll with that for the moment. Come on, boys, keep it up. Ricky J. Jones is knackered, although he's literally just come back from injury, so that's why he will come off in this second half. In fact, there you go, they're recommending that I take him off. The thing is, the pace of Jones... In fact, I don't want to break him, to be honest. After this highlight, we'll take him off. Right, Armini. Shobolov! Shobolov! Get going! Oh, for goodness sake, the man cannot run. I thought he's got pace on him. Or is he, is he struggling to l l uh, drag his six foot five frame around? Maybe that's the sort of player he is. Jones! Shobolov! He's playing very deep, although well, I've asked him to do that. Because he's now more involved in the play. El Hilali. Ah, that was just a terrible pass, to be honest with you. Davenport. And the ball just literally bounced there. We should really be on that, to be honest with you. The ball just bounced. Oh, Le Chabler did well to win it back. Come on, play it through. Ah, oh, Shobolov was offside, unfortunately. Johnson. El Hilali. Who's in the middle for him? He's just cutting through. <laughs> Oh my god, he just slalomed his way through Southampton's defence. Look at this! Unbelievable, he slalomed his way through two defenders and then just slid underneath the goalkeeper. Right, Jones coming off, rest. Oh my gosh, we've already made a couple of substitutions. Uh, Lodi, why did I ask him to? Right. Why did I ask him to man mark him? Right, final substitution. Um, just looking at my central defenders, actually, Davenport's looking tired. Uh, Davenport is going to come off. McEachran's going to come on in the midfield in that deep line playmaker role. Come on, boys. Hold out. Hold out. Time wasting. Let's just see this out. We have actually won a Premier League game 2-0.
on merit. El Hilali is the MVP of the day. My goodness. I did not expect him to make that quick of an impact, but I think we've just found our new right winger, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, Bowler. Time's up. Time to go. Oh my gosh, a win and a clean sheet. Insane. I, I know it's against Southampton, but we're talking about a side who's actually had a decent start to the season. And we've just hauled ourselves out of the bottom three, at least for the moment. Norwich and Bournemouth get to play, but we're not going to spoil our good time with semantics like that. So we've just won a Premier League game for the first time this season. It's only taken four attempts, but whatever. We've emerged with an unlikely victory. Yeah, damn right we emerged with that victory. <laughs> El Helali. Can we just have a look at him? He's an 18-year-old Spanish right-back slash accomplished right midfielder. Or right winger, sorry. He's, got, he's definitely got the pace for it. He's clearly got the attributes for it. Long may that continue. He's got potential to be a Premier League player in the future, but he's hoping he reaches that sooner rather than then later wow what a performance what a goal that second goal I'm not going to be forgetting that anytime soon right we will be back I'm trying to try and get through to the end of September I'm looking at the Aston Villa Fulham games because that's just a nightmare September run Man U Wolves although Man U's in the Carabao Cup Arsenal Man City that's just, just going to be bonkers trying to get through that Nevertheless, we'll be back hopefully for the Aston Villa Fulham game. They'll be the next two Premier League games, and hopefully the audio will work properly this time. If you've enjoyed watching our first league victory of the season, make sure to hit the like button and click subscribe down below for more Football Manager content. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.